calling President Donald Trump a racist and backing his brother, naming Trump donor names. Former San Antonio Mayor Julian Castro visited the Iowa State Fair today. More than 20 Democratic presidential candidates will take the stage this week in Des Moines, and our Steve Spreester got an exclusive interview with Castro today. Steve joins us now live from the fairgrounds, and Steve, was the idea today for Castro to show that he belongs in this race for the long haul? I think that was part of the objective, Myra and Devin. I think it was also to show that he won't back down to Donald Trump. Julian Castro knows now is the time for him to get some momentum or his race for the Democratic nomination is about to get a whole lot harder. Good morning. This is a critical stretch because of the DNC rules, because I need one more poll to get into the September debate. Uh, obviously, if I'm not in that debate, it impacts everything about the campaign. Center stage and hoping to gain momentum. For Julian Castro, this trip into the political spotlight includes his family. You know, we're going to get a, a couple of hours to actually just be uh, tourists here at the State Fair and have a little bit of fun. He certainly got the media attention. The Castro family looking at cars. There were cameras. Looking at cows, real or butter, cameras. Carnival games? Yep cameras. Is it a unique challenge attending a state fair with your husband with all these cameras? I think what's been the most challenging is being in the state fair with two kids who have not really been able to enjoy it as much as they can. Iowa caucus converts the big prize of this fair game convincing people like Adonai Martinez. At first he was like maybe top three but definitely top two now. I say I really think he'd be a really good vice president. Yeah. But not president. Uh, no. In our one on one interview, Castro was tough on Trump. Do you think the president's racist? I believe that he's racist. He also backed his brother's release of San Antonians who've maxed out their donations to the Trump campaign. Why are these businesses supporting a politician that is making life worse for the Hispanic community when they're, when they're in this town that is more than 60% Hispanic? Will all this attention equal voters? Castro hopes so, because his campaign's very survival depends on it. Trump has denied, of course, that he is a racist, and Republicans have been very critical of Joaquin Castro releasing those San Antonio donor names, saying all he's trying to do is help his brother's campaign. Coming up tonight, more from my one-on-one -on -one interview with Julian Castro, including why he thinks the shooting in El Paso has magnified the importance of his race. In, in Des Moines at the Iowa State Fair, Steve Spreester, KSAT 12 News. All right, thanks, Steve. And as Steve mentioned, President Trump has claimed to be, quote, the least racist person, end quote. He also condemned racism, bigotry and white supremacy during a speech at the White House after the weekend's mass shootings.